Hey guys, I'm Suman from Sony's team. And do you want to build a gaming PC for $700 or in India 42,000 rupees? And this is a gaming build. So let's see. And for this build, let's start off with the processor. And I am going to be using the Intel Core i5 3570K. And this is a quad core processor. So this is clocked at, I say, 3.6 gigs. And I think you can overclock it up to, say, 4 or 4.2 gigs and okay, this was the best choice for a gaming PC and since it has all those processing power gaming is not gonna be laggy or anything and this was the best choice that you could get for the motherboard here we are gonna be using the Asus H87ME so this is one of the best motherboards that you can get for gaming particularly and uh, it has four RAM slots, a PCI Express slot, and uh, say lots of PCI slots, and uh, and it has say uh, support for USB 3.0, USB 3.0, uh, sorry 2.0, and HDMI. So this was the the best motherboard that I could find in the market, and say it is one of the best and cheapest. And for the RAM, we are going to go with the Corsair Vengeance HDD DDR3 RAM and this is going to be a single RAM with 8GB uh, memory and uh, let's say a uh, clock that does uh, not clock it's around say 1600 megahertz and I'm going to be using only one for my build but since the ASUS motherboard has four RAM slots you can use say more than two or three and that's up to your wish and this was the best RAM that I could find in the price point for which I need to make the build and for the monster which is the graphic card here I'm gonna be going with the game word NVIDIA 2GB GT610 graphic card and this was the cheapest and say one of the best uh, graphic card that I could find online and say it's got great processing power and from the other reviews that I've seen say this was the best match for the other components together and for the hard disk we are gonna be going with the Seagate 1 TB hard disk so actually 500 GB was enough for me but still I opted for 1 TB since I'm not gonna be knowing how many games I'm gonna be installing and using this and for the power supply we are going to be using the Zebronix 500 watt power supply and this was the best choice and cheaper according to me and all these components are be going inside the Beatcool Tesseract BF case so this was one of the most not stylish when compared to other cases like the Corsair case but this was say the most simple and uh, elegant looking case which could fit in all the components and still have a lot of fan space and say this was the best choice that I could take. So how is gaming in this new custom made PC? Let me know in the comment section below. And so guys if you like my video please be sure to hit a thumbs up and make sure you support my channel phone scene.